You're wondering how many days it takes to close on a property? I'm gonna share that with you right now. Hi, this is Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty, and I'm gonna share with you how many days it takes typically to close on a property in the state of Texas and in Austin. In general, it's about 30 days from the time a buyer puts in an offer, it's accepted, and then the property is closed on. There's many things that affect the number of days that it takes to close on a property. One being your type of financing. If you're paying cash, then that takes a lot of the obstacles out of the way to closing. And most title companies can close on a property in about a week. It generally takes about two. Um, and so it really depends if you're paying cash, how long does it take for you to get your funds available? And then you would be able to close as long as the seller is able to move out um, in the same time frame that you can close with it. If you are getting a loan, uh, really two main factors. If you have already bought and sold many homes, you have a lot of money in the bank, most likely the lender is able to qualify you for the loan pretty easily. And it will not take as long as whether you are a first time home buyer and maybe you don't have as much money in the bank, the lender is going to require um, all the documentation that it takes. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer for first time home buyers to uh, show all the documentation. Sometimes there's some credit issues that have to be worked through, so that would be a factor. Also the type of financing. So if you're getting a loan, VA loans, FHA loans, sometimes have additional requirements on those loans, and so it may take a little bit longer. Possibly you are purchasing a property that the fence line has changed or something's changed, and so then the survey is gonna change. The plot of land shown on a um, little map of the property that you're purchasing, and if something's changed on there and you need a new survey, then that might extend your closing. And also, if you are living on a floodplain, you would need an elevation certificate in order to have flood insurance purchased, which might add some time on. It might also delay the closing. So there are many things at play in. Typically, um, when I'm working with buyers, we talk about 30 days to close. Almost all lenders at this point are able to close in 30 days. Many can close in 21 days. I've had a fabulous lender who closed in 12 days and so on a loan. And so it is possible with a loan that it could close quicker than 30 days. But 30 days is the general rule of thumb. There's also something called a lease back in uh, Texas and in Austin. Lease backs are fairly common. That would be a situation where a seller has put their property on the market, let's say it's March 1st, but they don't want to move out of the house until the end of May or maybe mid-June because their kids are in school. and Or maybe they purchased a new home build and uh, they, the new home build will be ready a little bit later. They don't want to move twice. So they would do something where it's a lease back. That means that the buyer would close on the property and essentially rent the property back to the seller for a certain amount of time. And if for some reason it goes over that amount of time, there are penalties in the agreement um, to incentivize the seller to move out when they said that they were going to. Uh, so a lease back could uh, delay, basically closing would still be the same, but it would delay the amount of time until the buyer would take hold, take um, move into the property. Uh, could also be a situation where the buyer is asking to rent the property before um, purchasing it. I have been a part of that transaction before. It's very unusual, but maybe their funds are not going to be available and the home has been on the market a while. The seller is willing to uh, lease it to the buyer in advance of closing on the property. Again, it's kind of unusual. So in general, you're looking at 30 days for a buyer to close on a property before they would be moving in. Uh, things like financing might delay that or the type of loan or if there are additional requirements, uh, something like the survey or the elevation certificate. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Hope that you have a great realtor who is looking out for you, can explain things clearly. If you have more questions or uh, questions about what would affect closing, let me know and I'm happy to answer them. I would love it if you would like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to the Best of Awesome Living YouTube channel. We put out videos almost every week and I look forward to see you on the channel next week. Well, you could probably tell that I have Austin allergies going right now. It's kind of crazy. Um, that is one thing about living in Austin. I love Austin and I'm not so keen on my Austin allergies.